Hopefully, hopefully that's better. We don't sound like robots or right. something weird. Let us know. Okay. It was fine with laptop. It was fine with laptop. Right. Like, hopefully that's okay now. So quickly, before we share some really, really Thank you, nice Thank stuff. Thank you, Lainey, for, for doing that. Yeah. Um, just, I'm, I'm just scooching back because we might have missed a, a comment or two. Um, um, Helen, are you in? Um, you were after this. Oh, this is Sean's comment. Um, my mum passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sean. Oh, that's so... So sorry. Yeah. I can't imagine how tough that is to yeah. to cope with. Yeah, our condolences, mate. Nothing we can say, but yeah, that, yeah that's, there that's tough. There aren't any words, are there? But, you know, thinking of you. Yep. So, yeah, Helen, say hello if you are in. Um, Helen messaged about this, um, which is now listed for sale on our eBay, and wanted to pay in instalments, which, which we yes, would be yes, absolutely yes, fine yes. with. <laughs> yeah, hi. And don't worry, you haven't caused us any problems really. But now we've started that conversation on eBay, we have yeah. to sell it through eBay. Um, and it's a, good, it's a good topic to bring up because... Um, eBay have policies where obviously they're trying to protect their revenue, right? And you have found this product on eBay. And if we sell it now, they should get a cut. And I'm fine with that. So mm -hmm. now we can't arrange a private sale and, or, or do something like that because we've got to carry on the sale on there. Because if we now yeah. said, yeah, yeah, let's do it privately, <coughs> we'd have to cancel this off eBay. And because we've had that conversation and eBay track all of those conversations, rightfully so, and then we suddenly take this off eBay, we would very likely get a suspension. So we now have to follow it through. <laughs> and if we're going to sell this, do it through eBay. Um, and I'm not moaning about eBay. I am all for them taking their share of the sale because we have, you know, <laughs> you found the item on eBay and they need to get their cut. So, yeah, we'll sort it out, Helen. You came up with a plan. Did you message yeah, back? Yeah, I've messaged you back. I don't know if that works or if it was just really complicated if you buy it and <laughs> click collect in person we can then wait as long as it takes for you to pay if you like you see what i mean I that, that might be that's... jeff realizing that we're in here and he's not yeah but um for, for anyone else if you do see an item you want and it's not on ebay or you want us to do a deal or something contact us on instagram or through our email or through our Facebook, all of which are put be below every video. And then we can talk between us and sort it out a lot easier. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah. So don't worry, Helen, it, it's totally fine. But it was worth bringing up as a subject because we do get so many people contacting us through eBay, eBay saying things like, I've got a garage full of stuff. Do you want to buy it? It's like, well, we can't have this conversation on eBay. Or, yeah, all sorts of oh, other things. Here's I Jeff. Did you walk through the door? Like a closed door. He can open you... doors now. No, he, he can literally walk through them. I didn't even notice it open. <laughs> right, let's share Hello. stuff, shall we? Hello. Oh, and quickly, um, when we're done, um, our friend Derek, who has the channel Tap Peddler, he's scheduled, he's sorting out his barn finally. Right. And he's doing the first in a series of like his barn conversion videos. I think at 9.20 over on Tap Peddler. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're in, Derek, but feel free to share your channel yeah. and we'll mention it again at the end. Oh, no. hello, <laughs> Jeff. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Let's have kisses on the internet. Right. <laughs> so um, we got... What are we doing? What are we doing? Don't look at my face. Don't look... <laughs> Are we done? Oh my goodness. Yes, love you too. Yeah, yeah, okay. We we bought a a a big haul of uh vintage stuff. Um <laughs> and we thought we'd share some of it. There's so much when there's no way we're gonna share it with you. It was a private sale, um, and we bought a lot of stuff, but it's so so cool, isn't it? Yes. So we're just gonna Hello. delve in. Hello. You're right. Um what are we doing? Now you do you want to go down again now? Such as this. It looks brand new this, but this is this is vintage. A lot of the um going down. there's there's clothing in it and there's um Such as it, yes. bags, etc. This is a whole holmes holmes. 
leather handbag, for example. Where's the one? Oh, here we go. This one um, has lots of other goodies in it. Is he going out to chase the mice? Yeah. Such as... Now, what did you think these gloves were? Opera gloves or something? Yeah, um, potentially. I don't know. <laughs> Still new with tags. For our opera gloves, longer. Because they're... Leather ladies' yeah. gloves. We think these are dating back to 80s because I found a receipt yeah. for one pair. So, and then some are older. I mean, it came from a, a fantastic, what's your word, bougie lady? <laughs> bougie, yes. <laughs> she was um, very well dressed, well put together. Real pigskin leather yeah. gloves. That's me. I know, but they are they are gorgeously well made. Not up your alley. No. And I think there was pairs of gloves for every different coat that all matching. Yeah. It, it's quite incredible. And matching purses to go with different handbags. You get the idea. This lady was incredibly well turned out. Very stylish. Um, yeah. So driving it, gloves, yes. Driving gloves, these ones, but not these ones. These are something no, else. They're dress gloves. They're like long. Do, do, yeah, do. These, aren't long. <laughs> they, these aren't long though. Well, they will be because they're all concertinaed up here. Yeah, no, they, they're not. Oh, they're... okay. Okay. Yeah, and they just keep coming. There's loads of gloves in here. Oh, no, these are the fancier yeah, ones. Yeah, these are the fancy ones. These are all like lacy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting confused. That's a skull. <laughs> anyway, so yes, loads of stuff like that. Put it all back in there carefully. Selena says the white ones look like debutin gloves. Debutin. Debut. Debuton. I don't know. Um, and yes. there was also loads of. <laughs> Belinda says diamonds are a girl's best friend. Gloves. Yeah, very Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Well, um, these are little baby sham glasses. <laughs> there was lots of homeware. Um, not huge, huge value in these, but no. you know, a cool item. They're so nice, and there's quite there's a, there's a few, so we can make a nice, a decent size. Debutante, yes, maybe that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we learning stuff? <laughs> when young ladies were presented to the Queen. And there's now this isn't necessarily our taste, but it's a handsome, handsome thing. And it's Italian marble. It's heavy. <laughs> it's got made in Italy on it. And this has some age to it. Not sure we're going to sell it with the shade. Or did you think maybe we would in the end? Um, Jason is um, <clears throat> asking us when we will be getting back to listing on eBay. We have listed a little bit here and there. But yeah, I mean, we're well, very distracted by a lot of other things going on right now. Next week, um, I hope to list every single item from that van load. That's my task, yeah. which sounds crazy, but it's only 30, 35 lines or whatever it is. So that's my task. <laughs> I Yeah, I listed a load of stuff the other week, well, last week, and uh, most of it sold straight away. So, yeah. Um, so what do, is this? A, do you like this? Weren't debutant gloves elbow length? I don't know. <laughs> do you like I'm not, this? As I, a... I'm not um, a connoisseur of vintage fashion, unfortunately. Um, do I like it? No, <laughs> in a word. No, I don't. It doesn't suit it's our bit, taste. It's a bit too gaudy for my taste. Yeah, it would, you'd need a particular um, kind of house, I think, would, to pull that without off. Without the lampshade, would I don't know if stalls in. Would he say that was Hollywood Regency? Would you think? Oh, that sounds fancy. Yeah. Either way, it has some significant value, so that's a really nice piece. And talking of the larger homewares bit. And bits. Selena says the gloves changed in style going through the years. Yes. Now. Oh, these I like. These I love. <laughs> you can look at yourselves in the mirror. All right. Yep, yep. You grab it. There you go. Got it. Don't drop it. Don't drop see, it. See the rest of the kitchen. So yeah, we've we'll got. Hang on, we can we can do a bit of. Can you see me in that one? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and, and this one as well. And yes, the oranges are still up because Ellen said to me, can you leave them up to the end of 
January, so I said I would. So yeah, there's that one. So these well. are these have some significant age as well. This one I back. This one I like the most. And I would love to keep that. But firstly, it's a hundred pounds. <laughs> oh, more like 150. Yeah, so I can't really justify that. And um secondly, yeah, I so these are wooden framed. I'm not with, sure it would fit in with our lovely little country cottage. <laughs> no, it doesn't. With plaster detailing, and all of the plaster detailing is intact, says me, trying not to knock it off. So with the problem with these is there's no... That's Jeff going, can I come in now, please? <laughs> there's no way on earth I'm shipping these. So these have got to be sold on local collection, which will make it that bit harder to sell. Yes, Jeff. Um, sorry, sorry, we're just. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to let the dog in. Can you take this then? I was going. you staring at the cupboard. It's going well. So yeah, this one I don't think is quite as old as the other one. It says "Globe Mirrors." There's a sticker on there. Oh dear. But oh, I reckon dear. that one's probably sixties, possibly. The other one, I think, has a bit more age. There you go. So we really like those. And if we were going for a different sort of look, we may be keeping them, but they don't really fit. Swap over. Hello. <laughs> it's like a comedy sketch tonight, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Thrifty Shutterbug says, oh, my God, I can't believe I always miss this. <laughs> yeah, so, a lot. I mean, if anyone out there is interested in those mirrors, yeah, get in touch. Not but, through eBay. But we can't ship them. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not no. entertaining shipping You'd them. You'd have to collect. Oh, my goodness. And then there's glass, vintage designer glasses. I mean, we won't get oh, more Oh, that's out, not the... That's empty. They're not the though, are they? They're, they're, it's just a box. Oh, that was the empty box. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, Elaine says, can I have one of the laminators, please? Elaine, are you able to message us? Either email my Insta or, well, probably email or Insta, to be honest. Yeah, I'm able to do them um, mm -hmm. direct to viewers at £20 each delivered. I think it was I could do, I could uh, push. I think that's what I've offered somebody else. I, I do appreciate we think. have a lot of messages from people asking for certain things. And we've had family here all weekend. So we've Ellen's home as well. Um, so I haven't had a chance to go through everything. But I will be getting back to you all. And yeah, some people we've got back to with prices. Um, so we will be replying tomorrow, but we've had a very busy weekend. So yes, uh, we haven't been in work mode at all. And those who have already paid for stuff from the hall, thank you so much. Uh, it will hopefully all be out, shipped out Monday, latest Tuesday. So yeah, there's lots of vintage glasses in here. Um, yeah. Not sure they're particularly interesting to share, but they're cool. Where Will we says, make sure you're dressed when you photograph those mirrors, Nick. I imagine it'll be me <laughs> that photographs them and I will definitely be dressed. <laughs> Have you ever, we've all seen the ones. Uh, there's a famous picture from an eBay listing of someone who was selling his kettle and he and he's taken a picture of this like steel chrome kettle. And he stood there in the nude yeah. and he takes this picture and there's this kind of distorted image of himself in the nude. And there's another famous one of a woman who's selling a mirror and she stood there in her pants yeah. <laughs> in front of the mirror. What? Why yeah. would you do that? Um, there's one of these. This isn't particularly uncommon. I've seen this very thing before and it's, and it's a common little statuette. It's a brass one. It's an eagle on a little branch. Um, but I quite like that. So that was in it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, there's so much gear. Where do I begin? This is mostly clothing in here, I think. What yeah, there's some really lovely clothing. There's a couple of oh, lovely this was cool. Oh, yeah, I like this. It's not worth very much, but it's a it's a cool little item. It's um, a little of cake stand. I thought it was for receiving signals from aliens. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. And then you tune it in and you pick up. I'm, I'm picking it up, picking it up. It's <laughs> Before you ask, we haven't been to the pub today. No, we haven't. <laughs> it may seem like it, but we haven't. Yeah, so that's a, it's a cake tray, right? Cake stand. 
Or sandwiches. You could yeah, cut your... sandwiches. Fan... Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Eat tea, phone home. <laughs> yes, eat, right? That's what I'm on about. But I think, actually, um, it's to put your fancy sandwiches on. Yeah. Actually. It's a nice thing, though. It is nice. But, yeah, when we looked into it, they're, they're relatively common and don't hold a great deal of value. So do you remember off the top of your head, 15, 20 quid or something? Was it? You tune me out. Oh, no, I was reading Neil's comment. Holly Willoughby got caught out by the mirrors on her tape before, on her tape before in an Instagram pic. Oh, dear. Really? <laughs> Blimey. Uh, right, these, I think, are probably one oh, of our yeah. favourite... We love these. ...pieces that we picked up in this haul. These are beautiful. There's a set of... Are there six of these? Yeah, they're stunning. They've yes, got they're... lovely... I don't know, actually. I can't remember. Um, so yeah. it's cherry red now. Now we did write down what they are, didn't we? The, we we've got a spreadsheet somewhere. Something hock. Um, yes, maybe German. Yeah. One, two, three. I think the six. So they have we're, some age to them, and we think there's a along. we think there's a full set of six. And aren't they just yeah, the most gorgeous beautiful. things? Really beautiful. So they're a bit small for wine, is always that what? Well, that's because these days we're all greedy guts, aren't we? <laughs> we have wine by the <laughs> gallon. Yeah, I know. Cran but, I don't know if it is cranberry actually, because it's it's not it's very deep red actually. It's not sort of that pinkish red. No, cranberry. Oh. I would say that's cranberry. Would you? I'm know. drinking cranberry. Right, well, I'm decided, drinking cranberry. So let's have a look. I decided that it wasn't. I'd say that's recent. cranberry. <laughs> that's exactly cranberry colour. I love cranberry juice, don't you? Okay. <laughs> well, cranberry juice is one of the few juices that Ellen doesn't drink, so it survives in this house. So I actually get to drink yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Right. What's this? <laughs> this is quite a cool thing. It's heavy. This is crystal and it's got a yeah, lot that of that is beautiful. A lot of weight to it. Um Dr. Trader says, how many items in total in your big haul did you buy? I did we count them? Um I've got a spreadsheet. Offhand, I'm not sure. But um it's not on this computer. It's a few thousand. <laughs> Where is my laptop? I don't know. Don't know. Oh, it's over there. I'll grab it and then I can tell you. No, but he's talking about the big haul. Oh, I see. I thought you were talking about this that. one. I don't know. It's a few hundred items, but the van load is a few thousand. Yeah. So what are we what are we calling this then? Just a uh, candy jar. Yeah, I put vanity bowl, candy jar. Um, is it marked then? No. No, so we don't have a make on it, but it's no. it's just so chunky and really nice. Yeah, the vase in there is probably my, one of my favourites. Now, I'm just going to find the spreadsheet because it gives you an idea of some prices. Oh, there's a little... Uh... Susan will be so impressed with me having a spreadsheet. <laughs> um... What, this one? Oh, that's heavy. A Zynga. No, not that one. Not that one. Oh, you don't. <laughs> not, not, not that one. But that one I did value about forty pounds. So. This the one. That one. That one is um, Czech Square Union Rudolf Rudolfo Fova Hut Vars. Um, yeah, what, lots what, of words. What words were they? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't understand any of those. I can't pronounce it, but um, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the one you particularly like, is it? Yeah. Right. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Uh, I like the price too, £95. <laughs> oh, we're going to market that for £95, 95 really? Pounds. Oh, I like it a lot. You now. like it a lot now, don't you? Yes, <laughs> yeah. you do. It's my favourite. <laughs> packing nightmare, yes, but Nick is the king of packaging. Don't big me up about things, so... I'll only mess it up. Right. A um, little bit more homeware here. I don't yeah, think this is that's anything not, special. Not very special, and hasn't got a lot of. Little stainless steel teapot. Um, there was also lots, lots and lots of. Well, we were talking oh, yeah. about that. You know, your your tea. What do you call it? Afternoon tea. Yeah. Now Jack was saying that I think his grandma has got this 
um, particular design. So it's very nostalgic. Old to country roses. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, I can't remember offhand which ones were really. There was lots of part sets and lots of non particularly valuable sets, which we um, there's a whole load, a whole other part of this hall that we said that's not really worth us reselling, and we're going to put everything else that we didn't buy for our business through an auction house for the person that sold everything to us. Yeah, uh, and they're going to take all the revenue for that. I said. All of this, we showed them when we went through the hall, we said, we, we can't really sell that online. It's just not worth the time and effort for the values. Um, so, question so that's going to an auction house. The, the maker artists says, when will you bring back the live auction on YouTube? Well, <laughs> we did intend to do a second Sunday auction this month. And then we realized that we'd only just got back from the meetup and had to get ourselves organized. So we're hoping to start that next month. So it will be the second Sunday and we'll probably do um, a Wednesday of showing what we're going to sell. What, what am I trying to say? Yep. say um, preview. A preview. <laughs> I reckon I think yeah. that word. But yes. We, we do intend to carry on with the live auctions, second Sunday live auctions. And we're going to do a few one-off items. If, if we do have any stock we want to sell on in bulk, we'll, we'll sell those as well. Bits and bobs. And we're going to probably, like you were saying, do a preview during the week running up to it. Oh, hi, um, Tara. Knackered, busy weekend. <laughs> yeah, we've had so a busy weekend as well. I don't well. know where thing is. There's one particular make and style of cup and saucer that was quite valuable. Um, right, bear with. We've got stuff everywhere, as usual, and I don't know quite where the particular things are. Oh, Selena says my parents' wedding set and dinner tea sets, old country rose. Oh, mm. I don't know where the rest where the particularly sought after ones um, are. Nick Inc. Lee on C Interiors shop says a video of you packing these items would be amazing, Nick. Yeah, they're actually a bit of a pain to set up packing videos, but I do intend to do more of that you could maybe do some time lapses of shorts <sighs> but don't you have to film the shorts in the shorts thing yeah i'll and try then, to film it and then <laughs> yes i'll do some packing videos at some point i don't think i've brought down the other cups and saucers those really fancy ones do you remember uh, with do you want the me to go and see if i can find them no it's fine we've got enough oh, here tara says did you get the photos that she sent you on Insta? Did I get the photos? I don't know. I could have a look, see if I've got some photos on Insta. And you can show this. What is this anything special? Um, I don't think that was anything particularly special, but it's, it's all right. It's rather nice, very mid-century. Um, let me see. Hang on. I'm in Jeff's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Witch. Where did um, I put this? Donk. Oh, chance! It's, this is chance glass, nineteen thirties spiderweb bowl. Um, Twenty pounds, so not hugely valuable, but it's a nice thing. There's there's two messages, and one of them is yours, and I haven't so opened them. Yet. I said mid century, but it's actually Art Deco. So, oh, from the meetup. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, I, I'll read the message later. There's some pictures at the bottom. Oh, what am I doing there? Yeah, what am you, I doing what there? Doing? What is that? What is? <laughs> I have no recollection of this. Was that late in the evening? <laughs> oh, <no. coughs> oh, that's quite nice. Ah, there you are. <laughs> is that Brum? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I've not spoken to him since. Oh, dear. Got some great photos from the meetup. Excellent. Cheers, oh, thanks for that. Yeah. yeah, we had a we had a fun evening. The end of it's a little bit hazy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of this stuff. We didn't as you can tell, we didn't really get organized before. <laughs> um well, there's an Elvis thing here. Right, this is a Royal Dalton. They did a series. Was it for the 50th or something? It was an, some sort of anniversary stuff, wasn't it? 
signature edition maybe not now unfortunately this is not the larger size ones which command a really decent price these these still go for oh, i can't remember what did we put down damien says never mind what's nick doing what was i doing behind him <laughs> i don't know i'm not asking i don't know i think elvis looks a little bit stoned right <laughs> Yeah. That he looks a little bit behind the eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember. I think these are 20, 30 pounds, maybe. I, I might be way off. The, the larger size ones, this is like a four inch. I think there's a six inch or something or eight inch bigger mugs, which were much more limited. And those go for way, way, way more. And there were several designs. Um, yeah, but that's quite nice. Royal Dalton limited edition thing. But the smaller ones were done in much bigger runs from what I could work out online. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of really nice coats, wasn't there? Should I grab those? Or are you still looking at them? Oops. <laughs> Check that. Good well, job. One of the in coats box. we don't have, do we? Because they decided they were keeping this one. Yeah. This one is lovely. I can't remember what we said on this now um, i think it's in the 100 plus isn't it let, well, me, let, find me... It. let me find what i said where's the make oak leaf genuine okay. sheepskin oh here we are 100 pounds 100 um 100 <laughs> individually hand tailored and yeah. it looks barely worn yeah um and we were saying this when we were talking to the the gentleman that sold us all this stuff i said some of this isn't worn and they, he was saying no it was she was just that careful and that you can imagine the lady right uh she just looked after her stuff so well but this looks like it's just come off the peg and oh yeah it's got the matching oh yeah sheepskin furry gloves oh or mittens yeah, that's an incredible coat. Okay, so we've got um, a super chat oh. from Jack came back. And he says, just stopping by to say hi regarding the vinyl records. Please <coughs> donate any profits to a charity of your choice. I won't be back in the UK soon. So please, please relist and donate any profits. Oh, that's a shame. It actually went all the way to you. And then I've for, got them. for some reason, we yeah, um, Nick's because Nick's sister's been up this weekend and she brought them up with her because she went to collect them from her old house. Yeah. Um, and uh, should I get it? Because there's a, yep. what does it say on the back? Um, it says wasn't collected. So I assume it was, it went somewhere and then you had to go and get it and you missed the message or whatever. So it came back to us, but it went back to our hitching house because it had the, the old address on. So we yeah. have the records here. These were from talking about the auctions. These were from the last auction we did. Okay, Jane. Yeah, well, so, <laughs> yeah, it says unclaimed. There's a sticker on it that says unclaimed. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, so really sorry so, about that. But I don't know what happened there. Just, if you yeah. are happy with that, what we'll do, we'll maybe just auction them off again yeah and then we'll donate it to charity and we'll we'll give it to a charity of of somebody's we'll add it choice. to our, our auction next month yeah 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 um yeah i'm so sorry that you didn't manage to make its way to you i just don't know what's happened <coughs> yeah but it did get all the way to it's, to denmark it's and been then on came all the way back to us so it's, it's travels. been around the world oh yeah it was the picture discs as well. oh there's some cool stuff in here yeah, some really cool stuff oh and there's a little note to you oh frustrating it's really frustrating. but not to worry that is that is so kind and we will do that on your behalf um okay fabulous right what else I don't know where to. Work. Oh, he said that the customs charges were too much to pay. Oh, that's annoying. Customs, but that was EU. Is Denmark EU? Yeah. Maybe I'm not. Well, we're not in the EU anymore. Are well, we? I guess that's I guess that's, <laughs> that's the, the problem, problem now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pain. 
Right, what else have we got in here? Okay. Boxes of stuff. There's there's a load of... We don't have any Cliff Richard mugs, I'm afraid, Ian. Laney's had them all. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually a very nice set. Were these the silver plate Yeah, ones? these are lovely. Um, yeah. Um, so there was a bunch of stuff like this. Um, which don't hold masses of value, really. They're not kind of fashionable really now are they you think about it <laughs> we also ended up with some knives that we thought about afterwards that we're not really going to be able to sell on well those we should do a, be okay with. yeah i mean they're table knives it might but be all right a... if we list it as a carving set no i don't think so no? how come other people are though oh we've been here before <laughs> i don't know so there's a that's a I, I don't know. Okay. Now we got in trouble once. Soup for... spoons. They do look like soup spoons, but mm. then there's I think a are, large they? serving spoon as well. So oh. I guess that's to serve. I can't remember what soup. I found out when I looked it up. Now we ages ago we listed. You know those little like very nineteen eighties um, electric reciprocating. Um, Carving knives, right? Cut yeah. through your Sunday lunch. We listed one of those, and we got a um, an account warning, didn't we? Mm. We had it taken off, and we got a big slap on the wrist for listing a knife. Yeah, even though there were loads of others the, listed. The day I listed it, I found about 20 or 30 of the exact Morphe Richards model, or whatever it was, all, all over eBay. Yeah. Loads of completed. I listed it for 15, 20 quid, whatever it was, and then got slap on the wrist. So I'm not, so yeah, probably shouldn't have bothered buying these bits and bobs, but maybe we'll put them on Etsy. We'll have to look into that. Yes, we will. Um, Raymond says, How can you tell if something is silver plated and not just silver coloured? It should have a mark. Is it um, EC Electro? EPCM electro. If you go on, there'll be there'll be a, a much more knowledgeable person like Edward, who's probably made a video on what you want to look at on the markings. Um, Cynthia, it is um, the Daily Jeff, but there might be other underscores in in between. Um, I don't have my phone on me. Well, Jeff's Instagram is. Hang on. V dot daily dot Jeff. Oh, it's dots in the middle. Daily Jeff. And that's me. I'm still trying to catch up with Andrea. So please all go and follow me and unfollow Andrea. No, and I don't might catch do up. that. I'm on Instagram too. So I'd really appreciate some followers if you don't follow no, no, me. No, 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 no. And I'm underscore Andrea Hills underscore. Uh. <laughs> it's below if you want to have a look. Um, Tara says... We could at least any knives, kitchen or otherwise. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's annoying. It's, it's um, amazing that I didn't even think about that when we were going through yeah. all of this stuff, oh, well. despite getting in trouble last time. Um, this is quite a nice piece as well. This is a Danny Mac, isn't it? Oh yeah. Andy Reseller says new goods, vintage. Love the variety. Nick and Andrea. Cool. The Royal Collection Danny Mac. So this oh, one has... Yeah, Chris Shutterbug was told off for listing one of those meat carvers too. Yeah. And I bet there was loads all over eBay the day you listed it. It's frustrating. Yeah, this has a little mark on the front that we need to yeah, Tara, sort out. Tara got a snotty account warning as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well. So be careful. Uh, here we are. Stephen's in with the information EPNS. That's the. Those are the letters I was struggling to find. And other people have said as well, Stu. It's electroplate nickel Will. something. Yeah. Electro nickel plate. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and usually that is on it. Sometimes somewhere. just EP. Yeah. Um, but then Stall says not everything silver plated is marked. That is very true. Yeah. So, um, tell me about this. Uh, oh, it? it's a trench coat, vintage trench coat. There you go. It's a it's yeah. a Danny Mac branded. 
Uh, we, there's a couple of marks that I think have been done in storage and that we need to just get sponged off, but that's yeah. really, really nice condition. We don't do clothing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Susan. Yes, this is Jeff's Instagram. Um, oh, this is so, so of a time. And thank you, Susan. That's my Instagram as well. <laughs> look, at, look at this detailing on this on the this leather jacket shoulder piece. Isn't that so nineties? Oh, no, it's eighties. Eighties, you're that thinking? That is eighties. Yeah. Wow. That is yeah. I don't I think like it's... particularly like leather jackets, but that is cool. It's going to be too small for me. <laughs> it will be. Oh, Mike says Andrew, I've messaged you. Good. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I know. I was saying earlier, we've been busy all this weekend with family visiting, so we will be getting back to everybody tomorrow. So, yes. Yes, as I was saying, I think it was 20 I can push the price down to on those for a direct sale. Um, they're going to be so popular. Yeah, that's tight on me. But yeah, look at that. Why am I... Is, that gives me kind of Michael Jackson vibes. Yeah, if it was red, it probably would be very Michael. Too small for me. And it says... Get you both on Insta now. We've been on Insta for a long time. Oh, I've been there for years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have been there for years, actually. Um, so is that... it? Hang on a minute. Susan says, I, I, oh, I remember the days when Nick used to try on all the clothing hauls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I'm notorious for it. So is this any good then, this uh, leather jacket? You, you valued all the clothing. Yep, well, I can find out. Hang on. Um, what brand is it? Oh, I'm not sure this one was a branded one. No. Nope. Uh, it just says real leather, dry clean only. Okay, about £30. Oh, not a lot then. It's nice though. It looks very of its time. Yeah, Selena says Princess Diana had a jacket like that. Oh. Definitely 80s then, isn't it? Um, what's another one? What's this leather jacket? Oh, George says, Oh, yes, yes, you've spoken to George about, yes, um, I think we, yes, we've received box. George's payment, I believe. There's a St. Michael leather jacket, see, again, very similar time. Marks and Spencer's one, yeah, Mike. I have I just haven't seen your reply yet, I'm afraid. Sorry, I've, it's been a manic weekend. And we haven't been in work mode, <laughs> so I haven't looked at any any work stuff. I wonder if there was another box I didn't bring down then. Jilly thinks she had a jacket like that in black. I think there might be several that I didn't bring down. One sec. What are you looking for? Entertain everyone for a minute. Oh. <laughs> what are you looking for? The um the other leather jacket. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's left me to chat and I'm at the end of the chat so nothing to say so I'll scoot back and see if I've missed anything oh it's a mystery it's yeah a mystery. so Stu says can you not just, just describe them as carving set and not mention the word knife that's what I said but apparently that doesn't cut it doesn't nope. cut it no pun intended Oh, it's there. It's right in front of me. Oh, goodness. We need to talk yeah. about this. Oh, yes. Do you want to? Yes. Yeah. So after last week's chat, where we were talking about mental health, etc., cetera, um, and talking about how dark it is in the mornings and how we find it so difficult to get moving and going in the morning because our bedroom is so dark, so, so generously and kindly gadget man got in touch and sent us he said i'm sending you one of these and this arrived during the week a lumi sunrise alarm now i have to admit we didn't actually set it up yet <laughs> so <laughs> no. we will do tonight because we're gonna start afresh for tomorrow morning aren't we um but um yeah Sorry, I'm just distracted. Um, tea cake said hot glasses. I think I said that earlier. Oh, hot, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Um, um, but, yeah. Thank you so, so much. So generous and kind and just can't thank you enough for this. Just blown yeah. away. And we will happily send... Well, 
That was a laminator that, yeah, that Gadget so, Man was after. So we, we'll, we'll send you a, one of them. A laminator uh, coming your way. <laughs> absolutely. We don't need any payment. You've been, <laughs> you've been way too kind to us. Yeah. So we'll try that out and we'll, we'll let you know. We did actually pick up one for ourselves a while back. Um, yeah, secondhand. And secondhand didn't, didn't work. work. Um, it was just kaput. Um, Steve, he doesn't sell them. He sent this through Amazon. <laughs> just, yeah blown away by your kindness really truly we are yeah so we'll let you know we'll let you know if that yeah. helps if we just go oh bright lights and turn it off in the morning <laughs> that'd be me that will be you yeah um so anyway um, i found a Dr. box of cool stuff trader says did you go to any car boot sales today we didn't today we went for a lovely walk in thickford forest but we did go to a jumble sale we went to two jumble sales yesterday hmm we set up to go to one. We discovered another. So we went to two. Yeah, um, it was a bit of a mad rush. Um, this is a very early Monopoly, missing the board. Um, they don't hold great value, but there's, there's a market for it. Yeah, that's cool. This is the one. So it has cardboard pieces that are mounted in these little wooden blocks. Isn't that cool? So there's the hat. So there's not even any metal bits in it. That's cool. Top hat, iron. Like all the houses are wooden rather than plastic. Yeah, all wooden pieces. There's the battleship, so the nice. shoe. So these are the pieces I remember, but they were metal by the time I was playing this yeah, in the late too. 70s, early 80s. We had that edition, big red box. But this used to come in this tiny box and, and then with a separate board, which has obviously gone missing. I don't know what copyright date we're at here. Probably 50s. Let's have a look. Cinema Music is asking, any concerts lined up? We do. Yeah. We've got um, Depeche Mode, um, Pet Shop Boys, and Hollywood Vampires. We've got tickets for Rewind, and <gasps> how exciting is this? Andy Bell from Erasure is headlining on Saturday. So you get to see Depeche Mode, Pet Shop Boys, and kind of Erasure. All in the same year. In one year. I know. Yeah. About that. So, to, you know, you can't get much better than that. Right. If only Radiohead were touring, I could get, you know, all of it. <laughs> REM no longer exists. Shame. Yeah. Who else would I like to see? Elbow? Maybe they'll tour. Maybe. Lana Del Rey? Hello. Yes, please. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this this is a cool item. Look at that. Can you tell what it is yet? You have to keep pumping this to, to keep it going. Imagine walking up the road with that. You'd get roof tape very quick. Yeah, this is just so... Maybe it used to like, hold its charge, but I don't it doesn't know. anymore. I don't know. Uh, oh, Sandra got a, a very large lot of Port Merion for £15. Wow, that's awesome. Fifteen pounds. Wow, yeah, that's not bad going, is it? So yeah, I don't really know the value on this, but um Oleo vintage little wind up torch. EMG says I've had the wartime monopoly set, it sold for 40 pounds. Oh, okay, maybe I'm underestimating. I've not had okay. one of that age for probably 10 years. So maybe I'm way behind the times. We watched a two whole of um jack's renovation vlogs last night didn't we <laughs> we did is jack in yes oh hi jack um yeah the cool little things like this this is just a little advertising um tape measure very of its time <laughs> captain kirk's phaser <laughs> oh, it's only got um inches on it that's interesting yeah it was a collector market for these sort of things it's quite i nice. used to have like a, a toy like little plastic toy, sort of almost laser gun type thing uh, when I was little. And I used to pretend I was Captain Kirk going around and I was in Star Wars. Like did you go around gun. saying, beam me up, Scotty? Yeah, I did. Did you? I used mm. to love Star Trek when I was little. These were the ones I was thinking of earlier. This, I can't remember. It's been a week or two since I did all the research. I'm oh, sure, these are the old country roads. I'm sure it was this particular set that, that seems to have a bit of a following and there's it has higher values than the other stuff. Oh, okay. I thought the other one was. I think that did say old country roses on the it's, other one. Yeah, but but these were 
<laughs> Something Only a bit two. special. Well, they went half an hour long, Jack. <laughs> it was time for bed afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nodding off watching, Jack? I wasn't. No, mm. no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, aren't they cool? So beyond chintzy. But, yeah, uh, they have some value. They're really quite sought after. Uh, I can't remember how many of these. They're yeah, a lovely colour, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's a beefy thing. What do you know about that? Oh, well, this is, <laughs> this is, let me refer to my spreadsheet. I believe it is Scandinavian glass, Sweden, maybe Swedish glass. I might be misremembering that. Oh, I think we only had the one of those cups and saucers, and it was annoying because we had lots and lots of other stuff, such as this, which isn't quite as sought after. And they're really, really good stuff. We only had one of. I think that may be the case. Was it? Or maybe two. You can tell. We did um, most of this valuation a few weeks back. And it's just... Oh, no. It, I was, and I am misremembering that. It's Liscard. And it's been used as an ashtray. It still has some ash in it. But it's not actually an ashtray. So. Liscard. So is Liscard... Is that from, is that Irish or is it Scottish? Cornwall? Cornish. Let's go out in Cornwall. I think so. <laughs> I should stop talking. These are nice. I'm saying cranberry again. Hang on. Let's do the cranberry comparison. Yeah. I love these. These are so nice. These are nice. Um, I don't know that there was a maker. There is a mark on them. Yeah, let me see. Can't really make it out, though. Yeah, I can't remember how many. Was that a set of six? I'm referring, I'm referring oh, to my Oh, oh, oh. Now, they're Luminark. Okay, they're Luminark ones. Little uh, dessert dishes, I'm assuming. Yeah. See, we're forgetting what we we, we have in here. Yeah, it, well, it's been a while. We, it's, it's been taken weeks. Us some of it we were valuing before Christmas. Yeah. So it's and us a while you know to get through. Th this chap, you know, very busy and and lining up when we were here, and he was able to come around and have a chat about it all. And oh, it's taken oh, ages it's to even... get an agreement. I don't know. I'm not finding it on my. Okay. Spreadsheet. But yeah, those are nice vintage uh, cranberry red. <laughs> <we're saying. laughs> Glasses. There is a certain name for them, but. I'm not Bobbly ones, it. I reckon they're called. I'm not swatching it. Currently. Bobbly glasses. There's so much stuff in here. Well, there's another one. There's at least three. I think there's a set six. Oh, they're anchor hocking. Are they? They are anchor hocking. There is four of them, and oh, they're okay. not hugely valuable. Twenty pounds for the four. That's a bargain. I'd buy them. Should we just keep them? <laughs> <laughs> is it still January says the monkey thrifter nearly not we're nearly through January let's all celebrate <laughs> right I'm trying to get this out of here without breaking things Dalek glasses to go with these yeah are they they're not square union I don't think and cocky. hold that a minute to go with these we have this amazing is this like a trifle bowl this isn't this isn't the same as the Luminarch ones. Oh, no, this goes with these and then, does it? It can't go with these, surely. I value that a 20. It doesn't go with that. It's a different design. But I couldn't find any kind of maker for that. So 20 doesn't sound a lot for that. I mean, that's immaculate. Judging by similar items that had sold, I was thinking I was going for about 20. But I then, might end up aiming for like 25 take offers. <coughs> we normally start here and then take offers here. We'll come down to there. But oh, hang on. Um, Kez says designed by Jim Dyer. Is that the glasses? What the, the bubbly ones? The anchor hocking ones. Oh dear. Let me write that down. Jim Dyer. 
Well, I've made a right mess out of uh, this. Flipping Maggie says, special cranberry anchor hocking glasses for your cranberry juice, Nick. Oh, see? Made in. You disguise your cranberry juice in there. Match made in heaven. Yeah. Right, I've messed this box up. You, you neatly packed everything and I've messed it up, okay? Just saying. Oh, yeah, this is cool Someone as well. doesn't break. He has a little crystal Scent. perfume bottle. Scenting. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, I mean, yeah, that's so sweet. I really love that. You're getting the idea. There's loads and loads of it. What's um, Doctor Trader saying? Can't believe you're so organised, Andrea, and have all these valued in a spreadsheet. That's not my usual style, I have to say. But I had to be organised because there was so much of it, and we obviously wanted to have something that was a bit more professional because we were valuing it for somebody. Um, so yeah <laughs> yeah it was nice to have to be able to sit down and say well let's go through and he wasn't sure about what items he particularly wanted to keep or other family members wanted so we we did it very professionally and said well here you go this is what we valued it at and we can give you x for these and we sat down and he was fine and and there was a one item that he took away that was sentimental yeah. and he decided no i'm not going to get rid of that we were like absolutely fine take your time no rush and yeah, we've ended up with everything you can see and considerably more. Yeah. Um, there was a, a load of shoes, a big stack of shoes, and most of them have maybe been worn once. That's been worn, clearly, but... Yeah. yeah. Nothing amazing in the shoes, but they're all just in immaculate condition. Yeah, he did have an antique stealer that came around first, and took away most of the clothing yeah um, so we so can only imagine that, what yeah. was in that all the better stuff went oh porky's discount said talking of thetford forest for anyone interested tom grennan Anne marie paul weller and jack savaretti are all there during june did see the posters for those today i saw them <laughs> i saw ones for jack savaretti yeah and Anne marie i did hear that paul weller was oh, oh Liscard is jim dyer okay thank you yeah, so a bunch of shoes. Now, as I said earlier, we we moved away from doing clothing. It just, we were constantly in a big backlog, weren't we? It was stressing you out. Doing I do still clothing. have some vintage clothing. Yeah. Which I kept aside in case we got a booth, but um, I don't know if we will now. But we made an exception because this stuff, there's not many pieces. And the condition's lovely, and it's going to be a pleasure to photograph this stuff and because the condition's so great and it's vintage should sell itself i mean that's barely been i don't think that's been worn i don't think that's ever been worn what sizes are the shoes they're they're all a five um, uh, but potentially they? vintage five so possibly smaller because i think a lot of these are 70s 80s into 90s if if anything but Five and a half on those mm, yeah. is a home Holmes uh, all leather. It's really nicely made things. Yeah, so that gives you an idea. So along with my insane haul of van load of gear, we've been busy, um, yeah, valuing this stuff and doing a private sale on all of this. Um, we can't really show you anymore. We've now got stuff everywhere. <laughs> And we're in a mess. <laughs> Monday mornings are fun, aren't they? Because we don't bother <laughs> to tidy up. We just come down on a Monday night. Like, oh, Try and make breakfast in here after a Sunday. It's like, okay, there's, this away there's, now. There's, there's no surface left now. Oh, let, let's show you these last ones. Look at these. These are Lady Servas. Look at the leather detail on, me, on that. Little peep toe. Mm. Oh, get oh, me. Get me. I do love a peep toe. Um, Junie says the red bowl with the gold leaves design on it. There is a similar one on Etsy for 37. Yeah, I mean, quite often things like that are priced much higher on Etsy. And I do sometimes add a little bit when I list it on Etsy. But I've gone by eBay prices on here because it's probably more realistic. Hmm. So there you go. That gives you an idea. Um, quickly going back to people who have who want to purchase or have purchased stuff from the big van load of stuff. We're going to get it all sorted out. 
Monday, maybe into Tuesday. So thank you so much. Bear with us if you haven't heard back from us with a price. And if you do see anything, anything like this, anything from the hall, message us on Instagram. We've had a lot of stuff, come th messages come through on eBay recently, as we were talking about earlier. And it causes issues if it's not already listed on eBay. We can't discuss other products on eBay, which is totally understandable. Um, so, yeah. Now, as I said earlier, Derek is going to put his, I think he's scheduled his beginning of his barn conversion. Now, you think we had a lot of work. <laughs> Derek's got a lot of work. So is he premiering it? I think it's a premiere going out tonight. Are you, are you in, Derek? You want you can pop the link for your channel in if you want yeah. to. But don't forget, it's Neil going live at um, half past. I think if Neil will be, will if you're be live into your a bit music, later. Um, he's doing his now. That's why I call music. Yeah. Live show. Um. Oh yeah. So that's Junie saying one on Etsy. Was that what you read out a minute ago? Yeah. Um. Will Nick be playing the Village production of The Wizard of Oz next Christmas? Because of the red shoes. <laughs> no, no plans. Like, but, you know, never say never. Um, so, yeah, we'll wrap up shortly. Um, we normally end these with some words of wisdom. So if you if you want to share something, please do. We'll read a few out. Uh, David says, a rolling sausage gathers no gravy. Is there some deep hidden okay. meaning in that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Keep moving forward. Um, yeah, five and five and a half. Um, if, if there's any particular yeah. ones you were interested in, again, I can drop, always measure, measure them for you as well. Drop some messages. There's, there's more shoes. There's about 10 pairs of shoes, I think, in total. Um, oh, there's Derek. Okay, so Tea Cakes has thankfully uh, shared. Jeff is off on one. Oh, and Amanda is also live at 9.15 with Tonks Boutique. Well, you're spoiled for choice, you, you like You lucky, lucky people. You can watch whatever you choose and then watch and catch up. Yes. Um, Belinda says, if, like Nick, you have a peep toe, please shave your legs and cut your toenails first. That is sound <laughs> advice, wouldn't you say? Maybe a bit of nail polish. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you, you like the unshaved look. It's up to anyone what they want to do with their legs, really. I'm not shaving my legs for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> um, yes, Neil there. Hello. We are back to, at 9.30 with the last part of 9.19. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, so you've got Amanda at 9.15, Derek at 9.20, <laughs> Neil at nine thirty. So, <laughs> right. Let's see if we've got any um, words of wisdom. <coughs> uh, Jonathan says, "Get Britain talking." Um, that's in <coughs> reference me. to our mental health chat last week. Um, yes, Jeff is giving his words of wisdom. He has many. Sometimes he goes on and on and on. Oh, blimey! <laughs> Um, <coughs> all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That is very true. That's why we've had a lovely weekend with family. Um, once Love Treasure says a comfort zone might be safe and familiar, but nothing grows there. Oh, yes, mm. that's good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Steve says, my tummy grew in my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks for the chat last week. It became an in, uh, a, yeah, we didn't plan to have a mental health chat, um, but it was really nice. And I've had a few conversations with people since. Um, you know who you are, and yeah, it's been it's been helpful. Sharon says, "Have some cranberry and see your troubles vanish." Nice. Are your troubles vanishing? Yeah. Well, it is good to be on the other side of the valuations. We've bought it all now. Just got to get it listed. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, we have been spending money like water recently. And now we are in desperate need of, you know, getting the, the, the cash flow going the other way and <laughs> back yeah. in. Um, but that's what business is like. You know, sometimes exactly. you're, you're not focused on the listing. You're focused on acquiring. 
-hmm. and uh, we've acquired enough right now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we need to get it listed. Although we will share a jumble sale haul. You're going to do it oh, on yes. your channel. Yeah, on my channel, I'm going to do a jumble sale haul this week. And we finally have <laughs> a video coming tomorrow where we can update on, on the cabinet. The cabinet. What is going on with Andrea's cabinet? I hear you cry. <laughs> It'll be coming tomorrow. A lot of you have been asking how it's going. So we've got an, an yes. update for you. Um, and Susan says, words of wisdom, spreadsheets are cool. Derek says, words of wisdom, don't buy a derelict barn. <laughs> no, 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 I, I disagree. Buy derelict barns. They're amazing. Yeah. Chris G says, um, words of wisdom, men were made to listen as well as talk. Nature has given us two ears, but only one mouth. That's good. Listening is a skill that I think we all need to practice. I, I'm sometimes not very good at it uh, because you, you, you wanna, you've got things to say, you've got things to say, but you need to listen before mm -hmm. coming back. But it's, mm -hmm. we all know those people that don't give you space to talk. Don't be that person. Yes. Yeah, I try not to. Yeah. Uh, don't wish for success, work for it. That's nice, yeah. Even if happiness forgets you a little bit, never forget about it. Never completely forget about oh, sorry. it. Yeah. These are good. Yeah. You can't control the direction of the wind, but you can change the direction of the sails. Yes, like that. Yeah. Um, you have your way. I have my way. As for the right way, the correct way, and the only way, it does not exist. Yes. You lot are on fire. I'm feeling, I'm feeling wiser already. Yes, Stu's. If you see someone struggling, it's worth whispering plethora in the ear. It means a lot. <laughs> I thought for a tiny moment then it was going to be a serious one. I didn't, I didn't Tiniest. hold out hope for that. <laughs> um, you're mad, bonkers, completely off your head. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. That's one of my favourite quotes. Love that. Yeah. Lewis Carroll. The only good thing about cranberry juice is that it hides the colour of the vodka. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Or gin. Sadly, there isn't any gin in here. And we've finished the gin. Well, almost, didn't we? Oh, look, I could have put a splash in because that's all we've got left. We haven't even got any wine in, have we? No. <gasps> Somebody send some emergency wine. It's gone eight o'clock as well, so we're, we're stuffed on that one. Yeah, because we live in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere now. Shop shuts at eight and that's it. Yeah, so it's, that's actually a good thing. It's a good thing in a way. Um, where are we with words of wisdom? Uh, we've read that one. What's that about the local post office there? Is the local village post office ready for you selling thousands of... Well, mm. yeah, they'll have to be. Um, I've got to get it listed yet, though. We've only sold a bunch of stuff to, to viewers so far. That's it. Uh, sometimes you forget you are awesome, but this is your reminder. Awesome! <laughs> You're meaning... <laughs> Um, Jeannie says, every sunset is an opportunity to reset. Every sunrise begins with new eyes. <laughs> yeah, even if the wind slams your back door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> every, no, even in the darkness, even you're, in the dark. You're adding words. Well, it says the darkest rooms, even the darkest rooms have cracks of light. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, James says, sometimes I go about in I go about in pity for myself, and all the while a great wind carries me across the sky. That's very poetic, James. Yes, isn't it? Did you write that or was that Googled from somewhere? Be livery, alcohol delivered within the hour. What, even in Norfolk? I, I doubt whoever they are going to deliver to this place. 
Uh, words of wisdom from Mark says, you can please some of the people all the time. And all of the people some of the time. Yeah, never all of the people all the time. Yeah. That's a phrase that it, those of you that do YouTube and those of the, you that are trying YouTube, just just keep that in your head. And don't try and please people anyway, because it's a fool's errand. You can't do it. So don't do it. Just please yourself. And those that are in tune with you and your vibe will, will stick with you. Um, because trying to keep everyone else happy is just in life in general, let alone not YouTube. Yeah, it took me a long time to learn that actually. Yeah. To really properly learn that, you know. And nobody's meant to like, not everyone's meant to like you. It just doesn't happen. So once you accept that, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure I'd like me. I'm a bit of a pain in the neck a lot of the time. <laughs> you, you can testify. Yeah, but you're lovely. <laughs> I'm a lovely pain in the neck. Another another gem from Stu. It's an ill will, an in, ill wind that will empty a crowded lift. Oh, yes. Um, Jane says, remember, if plan A doesn't work, there are 25 other letters in the alphabet. All plans are subject to change. Yes. Okay. So we've things got a few work more. out for the best for those who make the best of how things work out. That's... And Ali says, Ali's, it's Ali's birthday today. Happy birthday, Ali. Is it a happy birthday? Um, says, um, a flower doesn't compete with the flower next to it. It just blooms. That is so good. Yeah. Yeah, comparing yourself to others is, is, a, is a mental path we all go down at some point or another. And it's, and it's so foolish. It really is. But it's... Comparison is the thief of joy, isn't it? Comparison is the thief of joy. Oh, is that a phrase or did we just make that up? I think I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, wherever that came from. Um, you must learn to let go, re release the stress. You were never in control anyway. Ooh. Oh, yeah. If everyone's suffering from the great wind, you've eaten too much broccoli. We're, we're, we're going to crash over Doke's premiere in three or oh, four okay. minutes. Right, quick, quickly. Damien says, what other people think of you is none of your business. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, I love that. I that That's a little mantra I have in my head. And um, <laughs> yeah. No, he says, not everyone likes me, but not everyone has great taste and good taste, clearly. <laughs> well, this, is, this is also true. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Um, Shall I pick one out today? One, today? I, one that was a little bit back just then. Um, the one about pleasing people. It's something I try and live by. Here we are. Um, you can please some of the people all of Isn't the time. Isn't it some of the people some of the time? All of the people. No, some of the people some of the time and all of the people. I don't know. It's that. Okay. <laughs> some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time. Oh, okay. But never all of the people all I think of the time. I, I think I always say something different to that. It, it, it means the same thing. And then add to that what Damien was saying, that um, what other people think about yeah, you is I none think, of your business. I think how, and I then normally, you're fine. how I normally say it is you could be some of the people some of the time, but not all of the people all of the time. So yeah. it's a shortened version of that, basically. So thank you, Mark. And thank you, everybody else. That was fun. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with us and sharing our haul. Um, you've been really excited about this one, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's a lovely thing, isn't it? It was a lot of work to get an evaluation done, and yeah. but we got there, and we have bought everything we showed you and lots beside. Z right, we'll see you next week. Um, we're definitely here next week, aren't we? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right, excellent. Mm -hmm. So all over to Derek's channel for the premiere in like five minutes or so. Um, yeah, I'll see you there because I fancy watching that. All right. I'm going to make some dinner. Going Thank you, dinner. everybody. Thanks again, Jack, for your <laughs> incredibly generous super chat. Um, yeah, you don't have to. And thank you for being so understanding about the package. I'm so sorry that happened. We will auction that off for charity and, yeah, get that done soon. Right. We're done? Yes. Thank yeah. you, everyone. Have a good week, everyone. Take care. Yep. Yeah, have a great week. See you soon. Bye.